All right, everyone loves taxes. So we've recently added the ability to assess category specific taxes or fees. Let me show you where you set that up. So under inventory, you would go under locations because potentially the, these taxes may only be applied to certain municipalities or certain zip codes or counties or states. So we decided to let you set this up by location. Even if you have one location, you would just go into that single location and edit that location. Click on category taxes. And this is where I can add a category specific tax. So for example, if maybe on jewelry, I've got an extra, I don't know, let's say 1%. And I can actually specify whether this is a fee or a tax. So a fee, maybe I want to create a fee that's, for example, I need to do a background check, right? So I can say background check and only apply it once per order and only, let's just do it if it's a firearm, right? And in this case, let's say it's $5. So I also wanna check that off. So what that checkbox does, is no matter what the quantity is, we are only charging one fee as far as one firearm background check fee. Um, in the case of jewelry, I want to treat this as a 1% additional tax, and it's based on uh, the total quantity of uh, the items, uh, and it's not a singular. There, there are certain <laughs> situations, it's kind of crazy, where you may only apply a more of a flat rate tax that where the quantity that's being purchased has no bearing. But in this case, in this example, I've set up uh, jewelry with a 1% additional tax and it is going to look at the total quantity times the price to determine what that 1% is. Thank you for watching this video and hopefully this will help you stay in compliance if you are in a municipality that charges taxes for specific categories. Thanks again.